My superstar this week is a real little gem. If you go cruising, then you may well have seen her on board performing. She's worked on some of the biggest names in the business, and I don't mean Christopher Biggins, Royal Caribbean, Thompson, Holland America. She started out as part of the show team, but quickly worked her way up to headlining as a guest artiste. Would you please welcome Gemma Louise Edwards? Hello, darling. Hello. Love the hair. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, what are you working on at the moment? Um, I've got a lot of different projects on at the moment. Um, I've just recently joined a new band. So oh. I'm the lead singer for a new symphonic rock band. Fantastic. So I'll be doing classical vocals. I'm also doing some guest um, appearances with a jazz singer who's over from America. So I've got lots of things in the pipeline. Oh, my word. So no back on the cruises for a while then? Not at the moment, but I would like to go back on as a guest artist. Oh, yeah. I bet you would. Uh, do, you miss, do you miss cruising and do you miss the travelling? I do. I really miss kind of waking up in a different place every day. Yeah. I miss kind of socialising with a lot of people and, yeah, just performing every night, really. Oh, so so what what is, what would you, how would you class your singing? What genre are you in? Um, classical. I'm a classical singer. I sing light opera, um, some classical and then a mix of kind of pop opera as well. So how did you kind of get into that? Did you did you just start loving it or did you go to music college? How did you get into I it? Went, I studied musical theatre oh, okay. um, at theatre school and yeah. then I kind of, I've always loved to perform though when I was younger. I was a dancer then, I became a singer so it's kind of, always been something I've wanted to do. Oh, and which bit of it do you love the best? Do you love the rehearsing? Do you love the actual performing? What is it you love best? For me, it's the performing because when I get on stage, like, you forget everything else and, you know, you just love it. I, I just love it so much. And what would you say were your favourite songs to be singing at the moment, then? At the moment, um, I'd say Casta Diva is a big favourite of mine. Time to say goodbye because everyone oh, loves no. that song. Yeah, you can come to my funeral and sing that if you like. <laughs> Um, yeah, Nella Fantasia, things yeah. like this. So know. it's proper, proper, proper yeah. opera songs then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How would a little thing like you sing those <laughs> big songs? It's incredible. So what, what, what? How would you, if you could plan your career for the, say the next five years, where would it go? What would you do? What would you like to do? My dream is to get a recording contract as a classical singer. So that's my ultimate dream. So Catherine Jenkins with pink hair. Basically, yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then mix over into the into the pop. Um, you know, to kind of make it a bit more contemporary. Well, I have to say, because I think a lot of people go, oh, opera, that's posh, I don't do that. Yeah. And yet when they hear, there's an awful lot of songs, like like uh, uh, music that they've heard in adverts and on, on films and things like that, and they don't yeah. realise it's, it's opera, and then exactly. you put a modern twist to it. And I think, mm -hmm. I mean, look at Paul Potts on Britain's Got Talent, look how yeah. much money he's worth now, exactly. you know what I mean? And so. that brings it, and I think at mixing mm -hmm. it gives it that twist it, as well, Yeah, it? it opens it out to it. A, a wider audience and a wider market. So kids, you know, anybody really, anyone can enjoy opera. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see you. So when are you going to do a Royal Variety Report? We need to get you on that, really, yes, don't we, or I know, something I like that? I need to do that. Haven't done one yet. But not I yet, like not it. yet, like that. <laughs> uh, and do you have pink hair all the time, or is that just for today no, to go with our lovely new set? I just, yeah, well, you see, I just, <laughs> just decided that I'd kind of, you know, mix, got the nails. Oh, yeah. Just got the lipstick, the pink hair. Just oh, fancy the chain. So you're based in the north, or do you live in London <laughs> now? Live in London, yeah. And um, what would you do, what do you do on a day-to-day, -day, what's a day-to-day -day, uh, routine for you then? Um, I do a lot of different things because I do, I songwrite as well. So sometimes you do I, what, sorry? I write songs, oh. so sometimes I'll be in the studio. I work with a duo called 11am, so we write songs together. We do a lot of work in London. So I'm always doing something active or I'm at the gym, yeah. or something like that. <laughs> Show you know. me up then, why don't you? <laughs> um, now, when you write songs, are they... Opera songs you're singing or pop, uh, writing or pop songs? No, they're, they're kind of uh, jazz, pop, acoustic songs that we sing, that we write together, yeah. me and my writing partner. <gasps> I can't wait to hear some of these. Mm. You need to get an album out. Bring me a free album. I know. We have, we've got some, we're working on some stuff at the oh, moment. Oh, fantastic. So. Well, make sure you send one to me, don't we? We've run out of time now, do. but I'm really looking forward to, you sing, to singing. Okay. So, whilst Gemma gets herself ready, let me tell you what's coming up on next week's show. And we'll be getting some top tips and advice on booking flights. Uh, I'll be tasting some vintage wines for your viewing pleasure, of course. Nothing to do with me. And so much more. It's a Tuesday, 9 o'clock here on the Holiday and Cruise Channel. But playing us out this week is the gorgeous Gemma Louise Edwards. And hallelujah. I'll see you next week. Well, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the powerful king composing.
It's a cold and it's a broken 